we are going to examine and study in detail a year case the cases that you generally get is a safe year what do you mean by a safe year it is a chronic separative otitis media of the tubo tympanic variety in this there is a central perforation a central perforation is one which is surrounded on all sides by a remnant of tympanic membrane here the annulus is intact when the annulus is intact it prevents the inward migration of outer canal skin epithelium which when it gains entry into the middle ear becomes what we call skin in the wrong place also called cholestatoma an intact annulus in a safe ear prevents this inward migration and therefore in such cases we do not get the development of cholestatoma cholestatoma can lead to life threatening complications and since since this does not occur in a central perforation we call it a safe ear here you see a chronic separative otitis media of the tubo tympanic variety with a central perforation here the perforation is surrounded on all sides by a remnant of the tympanic membrane in this case the annulus is intact as a consequence of which the outer epithelium cannot migrate into the middle ear where in which a cholestatoma cannot develop this therefore we call it a safe ear since life threatening complications will not occur how do we work up a ear case the work up of a ear case involves number 1 examination under microscope and studying the case in detail if there is pus then it is sent for culture sensitivity if the ear is dry we perform what is called a patch test an aluminum foil is placed on the ear drum and if the patient regains hearing it means the auricular chain and the rest of the sound conductive mechanism is intact we will perform a pure tone audiogram to find out the level of hearing loss and whether the neural component is intact we will take a mastoid x-ray and find out whether is the mastoid itself diseased or not what is the treatment for an inactive dry safe ear a, a, a csom tubo tympanic variety is considered to be inactive when there is no active discharge even in such a case the treatment involves number 1 if a patch test shows adequate hearing recovery and if the audiogram shows adequate cochlear reserve meaning that there is no sensory neural component then the treatment is myelinoplasty however if the patch test shows inadequate hearing recovery wherein there is an auricular disruption if the hearing loss is more than 40 decibels then it means that the middle ear conducting mechanism is disrupted these patients require an auricular reconstruction with the what are the types of myelinoplasty you know of the types of myelinoplasty that we know are number 1 and only 2 underlay and 3 an interlay technique